So I'm going to talk about two two subject two subjects in one video. So basically, I touched on Simon Coveney, the no confidence motion of Simon Coveney. Um, obviously he survived. It was obviously to see that. Um, it was only fifty nine votes in that. It was ninety two in favour. Um, so you know it's overwhelmingly passed. Not like the COVID pass, where you know it's very, you know, it, it only got through with the skin of its teeth and what's. Um. But yeah, so the yacht race, I talked about this before, they were going to spend something like fuck ridiculous amount of money for a yacht race down in Cork, um, where they can't even fund the Navy. Um, again, logic. This country's logic. But yeah, basically, it's not going ahead. It was the American Cup or something like that. Um, and basically, it's not going ahead. The They think it's not a good idea to have it. I don't think it's not a good idea because I don't think people are too happy about it because, you know, it, it doesn't... We don't really get anything out of it. You know, we won't make the money back. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not an investment that you're going to get money back on, if you know what I'm saying. Um, because, you know, obviously the hundreds of hundreds, maybe if that was four or five years ago, a lot of people would have been traveling from America, from Canada, from other countries to come to Cork for that day to see all the boats and everything like that. But now, obviously, with COVID and things like that, they won't do it, they won't be bothered. Um, so you know what I'm saying. So they wouldn't be doing it. So they wouldn't make the money back on tourism, take, for example, in the hotel won't make money back, they won't make money back spending on restaurants or whatever, anything like that around Cork. So, basically, really, they wouldn't make the money back. It basically was a stupid idea in the beginning of it. Because, again, we have ships docked in port that can't, they will pay the people to go on to the ships um, in the Navy. Um, and, again, they go, what they go, like, it's, again, it's, it's nonsensical. But, yeah, so that's, Simon Coveney was to blame for that, because he was the one who wanted it. Um... And him being the sort of the vets and the Catholic, it's again, it's a joke, it's just a situation. But yeah, so obviously the bomb shouting happened yesterday, um, which I said would probably happen that some of the Fianna Fáil TDs would resign. Um, Mac Matthew McSherry resigned from Fianna Fáil, um, which really, it doesn't show you, you that Fianna Fáil is united, and it kind of just shows, start to show the cracks all together, um, bigger cracks than before. Because they only had the party take again the other day, um, and Fianna Fáil basically just left. Straight away, like that's a huge loss for them because they lost the seat. Um, you know, that's a loss. I mean, might say it's not a big loss, but again, it, it doesn't look good when we meet Mountain. Um, especially because I would have said to some of the Fianna Fáil TDs, you know, because it only takes one person to stand up from the crowd to make a difference, and he, yo, he made a difference. He stood up from the crowd. Um, especially when you're hearing all the Fianna Fáil TDs, their names being called out and them saying they're going to fall tall on here. Um, all of them fought tall. They have they have confidence in Simon Coveney. Um, and then only one saying no in Fianna Fáil and out of the 26 of them. Um, so it only takes one up, the one to stand out from the crowd and you'll fair play to him again. Um, I do wish him the best. I don't I don't know whether it be a by-election. Again, I don't want to stand that bit. Would it be a by-election? We keep your seat. I don't know. As it's independent, I don't know. What's the story there? Um, I can't remember the last time it happened. I know in local, I think in local government has to be filled in. Anyway. Um, but... Um, yeah, it was basically, we all knew it. I even said that it wouldn't go anywhere. It's just basically just shoot in the wind um, and hoping that the wind maybe hit, you, hit back in the face. But I think if Fina Gale TD wasn't there, I don't think he, I think he upstanded from not being there to vote. But um, it's sad that some of the Fina Fáil TDs, imagine if four or five of them left, or six or seven or eight or nine of them left, and said they're leaving Fina Fáil and the are against Simon Coveney. Um, that would have been the queer kick in me home out in the face. Um, if a lot of them said, because again, it doesn't show United the party, it doesn't show that it's United. Um, and you know, it does show that people are not happy about Fianna Fáil, even in their own party, they're not happy. Um, so you know, that's the biggest thing to take out of the Simon Coven. We all knew that would, um, it would, it would go, he would stay there, he wouldn't, wouldn't be done about it. Um, but yeah, he should face consequences over the deleting tax, because obviously the government, government tax, tax. Um, well into government matters. Um, and obviously Catherine's supposed to face some consequences too, legal consequences, and same as Ivan Coveney, um, for basically trying to buy and being biased and you biased the public office and you basically this is the crack that's going on, um, and then obviously, um, not throwing the the data on the conversations and things like that for the, which is required for ministers. Um, but again, nothing to be said about that. We've forgotten about the media. Forget about it next week, and there'll be nothing said about it. Um, next thing you hear, far right. This is the far right that's saying this. Um, big hit piece in the far right coming up soon. Um, but yeah, this is you know this is what's this is what the media is up to. Um, but 
we wait and see what happens. It'll be interesting to see. But yeah, the Ock race didn't go ahead. Um, uh, well, again, they might just get at the last moment. I wouldn't be surprised this idiot of a country would just w- randomly be like, oh, we want to host it. Even though we said, you know, we not really want to host it. People might not be happy with us. Um, but yeah, the, you know you know them. You know the politicians in this country. You couldn't trust them. You couldn't trust them. You really couldn't trust them. Anyway, take care, everybody. Bye.